Welcome to another adventure. We are in the outskirts of Sijiwi and we will be reaching the Laferla Cross and there is a chapel next to it. Behind me there is this niche here. There is um, the Redemption. There is a, a statue. It, it's not showing correctly because there is no, no direct sunlight as well, but there is a, a statue of the Redemption here. Look at the beautiful views from up here. It's amazing. There are some motors as well in the background because there are some farmers doing their jobs in their fields. And there's this interesting part here, which I don't know if it's uh, that old, yeah? I don't know if it goes to the Roman air as well, but we're starting going up in this part. It's quite steep. And there's a look at this rubble wall. Unfortunately, the last uh, rain uh, that it did it did a lot of damage look here even the soil will be lost eh? if it uh, remains as is that one it's not good so now we started this path to reach the laferla Cross. today to even here uh, there's another one look at the fields from here it's amazing eh? the views And here it's quite a narrow path, but it's very steep, as I told you. Not that difficult to do, but you may be hearing me puffing. Eh? Look, we are already seeing the La Ferla Cross. Last time I came here with my bicycle, it was blocked with fence because that chapel over there it's uh, not in a good state eh? but i read that it will be restored as we go along so hopefully it will be restored very soon a lot of background noises here eh, today aeroplanes motorbikes we heard the tillers in the field in the opening and here we are going getting closer to the La Ferla Cross, which was originally put here in 1903. I will give you some more information about this cross. It's a landmark in Malta. This is a pedestrian area, so no cars are allowed here because it will damage this path. It's an interesting one. Eh? We will go around here and check if it's all closed. Last time I came it was all closed, eh? all around. We can see the La Ferla Cross from here. There are like four vents to protect it from high winds because it's uh, up on a hill, eh? so it has to be vented very well. And here, but it's closed, there's this uh, notice here not to enter and there's a, uh, it's logged as well. But very interesting here, eh? Look, even the chapel over there, as I told you, somewhere I, I uh, read that it will be restored. That one. Look at this passage here. It's very nice, eh? It's very hot because it's uh, sunny. Even this part is blocked there. Over there. Look at the views from between these trees, eh? It's amazing. Look at the sky. This is today we're in March. Look at the sky. Eh? It's still winter in Malta, but it's heaven for me. I like very much the sun, the sea. The fence seems to be removed here. We will see this chapel, a quick look, because it's very dangerous. Eh? It's dedicated to the Annunciation and uh, I found no information about it. Seems like there was an arc here. We will do it very quickly because it's still to be restored. There are a lot of cracks over there. Ara. So coming here, take great care. Eh? Look at the damage that the chapel has. There are the, those large cracks. 
and here the fence is uh, it's open so we will go to a closer look of the Laferla cross during Monday Thursday and Good Friday it will be full of candle lights here and torches look at the amazing views eh, from up here there are some trees some rocks and here we will have a closer look to the Laferla cross there are more than four ara vents six look how nice going up the stairs one can find a lot of inscriptions here it was done by individuals eh? I don't know if there are some of which which are that old but look how many names even here it's all around even next to the wall there are some these seems to be maybe there might be some old ones even here it's full there who knows something about these inscriptions on the wall it's full there even here I came here several times but I never noticed these inscriptions on these walls even over there are in Latin there are the inscriptions and uh, over here we will go around this cross even here it's all full the original cross was was done in 1903 and it was replaced with a replica in 1963 look from here even the sun is shining how many inscriptions we have here eh? 93 there seems to be was another door here it's amazing eh? look all the walls is full it's not uh, ideal eh, to, to do these inscriptions, especially the ones which were done recently, but if there are older ones, which makes sense. But th that will be vandalism, eh, doing like that. Coming here and put your name and uh, the air next to the on the wall, but look here. We will look inside. Hope you are seeing the inside of this uh, shrine. Even the door. Uh, this one is uh, Maltese metal with uh, forms, the crosses. It's amazing, huh? Eh? And the fuse from here apart from the buildings it's a wow this site is much uh, more greenery and the chapel from here dedicated to the annunciation you can see some cracks over there as well Lara. but as i told you it will be restored hopefully soon and now we will go out from the same area that we came Coming here, as I told you, please take great care, especially under this chapel, because it's uh, quite dangerous. There are signs. Ideally, ideally do, do not come here until they restore it. Eh? And now we will go out from here. Eh? This part do it quickly, because there are those large cracks over there. Thankfully, it will be restored very soon. And there's this part here, look, which was done in 2014, which are amazing. Eh? Such pathways are very nice and as it should be in such areas. And that was the end of another adventure. Hope you liked it. 
please subscribe to my channel Angelo Caruana. Until the next one, bye bye.